Hello there, my lovely darklings. It's your fave witch, Jamila Adahada, back with another video. And today, I want to talk about all things witches, how it feels like to be a witch, what it means to be a witch, all those types of things. And if I could summarize what that really means, especially for me as somebody who identifies as one, even though I'm not someone who is big on labels, it's basically a woman, a feminine aligned person who is so empowered within their divinity. They are so in tune with divine, so in tune with the universe of oneness that they use all natural elements around them that the earth provides to basically call in all their desires because they understand that they are infinite and that they can have everything that they want. And a lot of the time we like to think of witches as the darkness of everything, as in they uh, do curses or hexes or some type of black spells or things that create destruction in the world. And that is absolutely not true. Just because you work with magical forces or you work with things that are unseen because the occult or darkness or things like that are things that are unseen or hidden, just because you can do all those and you're in tune with those things doesn't mean you are an evil person, doesn't mean that you are doing dark things, that you are casting spells or horrible curses. In casting a spell, you are already the spell. The spell is your mental energy that you put out, everything that you try to attract. It's not necessarily something that is a bad thing that we've seen on TV. In US history, we have demonized witches because, you know, we burned them at the stake a long, long time ago because we felt that their power was evil. We thought that their power was of the devil, that it was done to create destruction amongst humanity or within the community. However, those were probably just women who were congregating to possibly create an energy behind what they desire. These women were probably just congregating to possibly bond or have sisterhood or to create a huge energy in trying to heal their communities or any other type of thing, whatever, we'll never know. However, people did see that as an evil thing. But is it really that evil when women come together and try to channel all their energy into providing great things for the community with unseen forces, even though we consider that to be evil? And y'all, if there is only one source, if there is only that one higher power that we all believe in, then there's really no opposite. Of course, there's always duality, but that one source is the source. And if that source comes from love, joy, oneness, creation, beauty, then how is gonna be a bad thing for people to channel that type of energy? Especially when you are in a coven or you are collectively putting your energy together to provide unseen blessings to your communities or even to yourself. So I really feel like a lot of the time we see witches as a bad thing because we've always demonized women for feeling empowered, for using their own power for good or for evil, whatever that could possibly mean. Usually we always follow the path of least resistance and least resistance usually means conformity. And a lot of the time when we want to fit in or belong in a certain community, because as humans, we have evolved to believe that, you know, our belongingness within a community is usually our survival, especially way, way back in the day. And the path of least resistance for a lot of people these days is to follow a certain major religion where there is no shade on that. Do what you feel. If that makes you feel closer to the vine, makes you feel like a joyful human being, that you are doing what you want on this plane, being a great human being and offering nourishment to your communities, then please do you. No judgment. However, we have used religion in the name of being violent, in the name of judging others, in the name of casting out people just to please whatever higher power we praise. And we all know that is not a very aligned action. If you're really aligned with oneness and creation, then you are not going to try to ostracize people and make them pariahs simply for living their authentic lives. Because we wouldn't want people to do that to us, so why do that to them? So I believe that we demonize witches because especially living in a world ruled by men, we have this in tune innate power within us that we don't need the physical world to create. We don't need the physical world to manifest certain things. We are so in tune with divine, we are so in tune with what is 
that we can just lean back and allow it to come to us. That is how powerful women are or feminine aligned folk. And just like the power that black folks have naturally, some people have to have their, their shine dimmed so other people can feel more superior. And that is literally the world that we live in today. It'd be like that sometimes. So I feel like in history, we just demonized witches just because we wanted to ostracize women who felt powerful, who felt empowered within their divinity. And that could be from jealousy, that could be from feeling like they're probably gonna get more ahead than you. It could be anything. However, I feel like continuing to demonize the witch or the medicine woman or the wild woman or the dark goddess or whatever you like to call it, any way, any feminine archetype, the more we demonize that, the more we dim our own light, the more we don't allow ourselves to experience divine femininity or just being divine in general. We really all are. We just have to activate it within us. So keeping that tradition going of demonizing the witch or anyone who is in tune with their darkness, in tune with their divinity, in tune with source, it's just, it's so whack. It's so old. It's so played out. Embrace it. Allow it to flow through you. It is not a bad thing. It's completely neutral. What is is what is. It all depends on how you label it or assign meaning to it. If you apply it to your life as something that's bad, then it'll be bad. Everything in your reality will reflect that's bad. But if you're using it to empower yourself, to empower others, to create personal growth, to become your favorite version of yourself most of the time, then there is absolutely nothing wrong with that. And what I also think it means is owning your own magic. Because once again, as I said, your divinity is coming from source. It's coming from the energy that animates us all. The trees, the sky, the bees, the chair right that you're sitting on, the computer that you're using, everything is animated by this energy. And when you're using that magic, that energy, to call in what you desire, you're basically just doing what you're supposed to be here on earth to do. And also it just means being ultra feminine and being in tune with nature. Because with your feminine energy, it is coming directly from source. It is not you wearing a dress. It is not you talking a certain way. It's not you sitting a certain way or wearing heels. Your feminine energy comes from divine. It comes from the source. It comes from unity. It comes from union. And you know, however you decide to express that within your gender or who, however you identify, do you. That is within you, that is within us all. We all have this energy within us that's feminine, masculine, and everything in between, and we can choose how we want to express that. But with a witch, I believe it's definitely more the feminine side, where you are just so in tune with nature that you are just leaning back and allowing things to come to you. You are not forcing, you're not taking too much action, you are just not being too aggressive about it or allowing yourself to become too enthralled with it or being burnt out trying to grab this desire. It really just means being in tune with who you are and allowing that dominant energy to flow forth and just being authentic with it, being genuine, allowing yourself to be multi-dimensional. Because feminine energy is really all about wearing many faces you are just doing this you're doing that you are you're doing whatever your heart desires wherever the moment requires of you and that is such a great feeling because you're just having fun and being joyful feminine energy is not just action based it is internal it is not building it's creating it's not acting it's being it's soft, it's warm, it's joyful, it's creative, it's sexual, it's enticing, it's flowing, it's alluring, it's everything that we think that beauty really is. And when you don't have all the physical capabilities to go out there and build, what else do you have? You have everything internally within your dreams, within your desires, within your belief of yourself and what you're able to achieve to allow it to just show up in your reality effortlessly because you can get everything you want effortlessly and with ease. 
And I'm going to definitely make another video about this, but I want to also reiterate to not be scared of this power, not be scared of witches. Of course, there are people out there that do wish people harm. And you know, we want to stay away from those people as much as possible. However, being a witch is so neutral. If anything, it is a great thing because once again, you are using your feminine energy to be closer to your internal power, closer to divine, allowing yourselves to create, to be, to feel, to just allow. And that is such a great feeling to have because once again, you are being in your authenticity, you are having fun, and you are allowing life to be as beautiful as you want it to be. So yes, y'all, do not be scared of witches, whoever considers himself to be a witch, or just witchcraft in general, because once again, there are good, bad, and neutral sides to everything, but for the most part, it is absolutely empowering. It is uplifting. It is spirit building. It's just fantastic and marvelous. And I recommend it to anyone who is ready for that type of work. So we've now reached the end of this video. Let me know, what are your thoughts on witches? What have you been conditioned to believe that a witch is? Be sure to give this video a like, subscribe for more content, and follow me on Instagram at the Soul Veganista. Thank you so much for watching. Much love and until next time, my lovely darklings. Bye-bye.